Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful game for you played by Howard Staunton. The name of his opponent is unknown and the game was played in 1859. Let's see how the game went on. Staunton started with e4 and e5 by black and here comes f4 going for king's gambit. E takes f4, king's gambit accepted, knight f3 and g5. Black is strengthening the king's side by protecting the pawn on f4. Bishop c4, bishop g7, h4, h6, h takes g5, h takes g5, rook takes h8, bishop takes h8, d4, d6, knight c3, c6, and here comes a very aggressive move by Staunton, knight e5, sacrificing the knight. The idea is to open up the queen's diagonal and target black's king side. d takes e5, queen h5, both threatening checkmate in one and also attacking the bishop. Queen f6, covering both these f7 and h8 squares. d takes e5 and queen g7, the queen is still protecting the squares. e6, knight f6, e takes f7 check and a bad move by black king f8. A better move was king e7, but black overlooked Staunton's next threat and played king f8. Now you can pause the video and try to find white's next move. Ready? Well, as you can see, the queen on h5 is hanging, but Staunton simply played bishop takes f4, using the fact that black king is misplaced. Now if knight takes h5, then bishop d6, and this is a checkmate. Or if g takes f4, then queen c5, and again, this is a checkmate. After bishop takes f4, we see king e7, and white is also capturing the pawn on g5. Knight d7 and rook d1. Well, the winning move was queen h4, moving away the queen from h5 square where it was attacked, and preparing bishop h6. Now, if knight e5, then bishop h6. The idea is if queen g6, then simply white will promote his pawn to a queen, and it turns out that after bishop h6, black is forced to give up his queen, and it's over. Let's go back, but instead we see rook d1, knight e5, queen h2, queen takes g5, f8 queen, king takes f8, Queen takes h8 check, knight g8, rook d8 check, deflecting this queen which is protecting the g8 square. Queen takes d8, queen takes g8 check, king e7, queen g7 check, king d6, queen h6 check, king c7, queen g7 check, knight d7, queen g3 check, and a losing move by black king b6. Well, black could have prolonged the game by playing knight e5. If queen takes e5 check, then queen d6. And black even has advantage. But instead, after queen g3 check, we see king b6. And now black king is simply getting checkmated. Here comes knight a4 check, king a5, queen c3 check, sacrificing the knight as well. King takes a4 and queen a3. We see this amazing check made by English chess master Howard Staunton. Your comments and questions please, and thanks for watching. Good luck.